What's going on YouTube? Steven the Salon Guy here and in today's video I'm going to be talking about the difference between layers and that transition point uh, when you're getting bangs or a fringe. So I've gotten a lot of requests over you know the years as a hairstylist to you know when a client says should I get bangs or not or what should I do with the front here and I always say it really really depends. So you know this is gonna be a good video one if you're a client and you're trying to figure out if you should get the bangs. You know, if you're a stylist, this is a great um, video kind of to, to help you understand the difference between the two and what you can do that may save a client because once you get bangs done, that's it, they're there. So you don't want to ever take all of this hair and cut it to about here, and next thing you know, you have to recreate a whole haircut based off of that. For example, you don't want to have to create this when you don't necessarily have to unless you want to. And that's where it comes down to you as a professional to explain to the client what their options are. With this particular haircut, this is pretty much my signature haircut. As you can see, there are layers here, but because the layers are a bit on the shorter side and because it's very evenly blended in and all connected, this has the appearance of almost looking like she has some sort of fringe, okay? And you could actually kind of manipulate this even more and bring it over if you want to. A lot of times clients want to cover this up and I've heard this a million times, oh, you know, I wanna cover my forehead, I wanna cover the wrinkles, I wanna, you know, I, I wanna change things up a little bit. So what I always suggest is you may have the option of doing layers, you know, instead of doing bangs. So what I like to do is when you're cutting the layers in the front here, the key is to understand the length on them. And realize whenever it goes back like this, it's gonna travel back to right here. So I've really, really talked a lot of my clients out of getting bangs here because the, this is so much easier to work with and I think it's a much better look. And, no, and don't forget, you can even cut these here and they'll still go back. You just cut shorter layers. So you know if you're a client and, you've, and you're kind of undecided if you want bangs or not, it's really important to talk to your stylist and, and make sure they know what the heck they're talking about because the last thing you want to do is to go in here and have a stylist cut bangs here and it's not properly blended or they're not balanced. I always say start with the layers first and then work everything back in to see how it looks. You can always go a bit shorter right in through here without having to sacrifice cutting all that, this huge, section of hair all the way to about right here, right? It's just a big risk, unless you know for a fact you want to get them. If not, do the layers and I think you're gonna be much happier. I get a lot of comments on my layered haircut videos and just so you know, if you type in, you know, medium length layers, long layers, whatever you're searching for, just add the word, the salon guy, all one word to your search on YouTube and you'll see all my videos with layers. I have dozens and dozens of videos when it comes to layers. If you found this video helpful and you said, you know what, thanks to you, salon guy, I'm not gonna be getting bangs. I'm gonna go with shorter layers and more of a feathered look. Let me know, right? Or just let me know in general if you found this video helpful. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time for more videos with the salon guy.